Hey guys, we're starting to build, grow, and expand, and I'm excited. If you have not subscribed to the Darius Media Network channel, click the first link in the description box and do it now. All right, ladies, if you're a stay-at-home mom and your backup plan in case of divorce is your ex-husband is going to pay alimony and child support, listen up. I'm divorced. I thought I'd be happier. Show me your tax returns. Show me your bank statements. Show me your face. Show me your profile, your side profile. Show me your body, top to bottom, do a 360. Those are the requirements for you to come for me. Those are the requirements for you to come for me, okay? I'm not, you think I'm joking, it's the actual truth. Y'all, I love a man with the mentality that I'm not gonna chase up. I don't chase women, I don't do that. You know why? Because if somebody is chasing, that means somebody is running away. Listen, I am not hating on females, but why do y'all keep making YouTube channels and keep posting day in the lives. And y'all first video is always a Q and A. You are here to entertain me. Shake some. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. This man just said he don't want to talk. He don't want to talk, but he was talking when he was inside me, right? So you think you can't? So you think? So you think you could be inside me, but you can't answer my phone call? You're funny. You're so funny. Rejected. A lot of women are completely narcissistic, just absolute agents of chaos. You know, they just love spreading lies, planting little seeds of insecurity and doubt. They have no empathy or intentions of being kind or um, loving to anyone else. Women handle rejection very differently to men. Men just kind of take it on the chin. Women will start entire movements. <laughs> when a woman discovers that she is not a man's preference, it, it cuts her deep, you know? She's more likely to be like, How dare you? You have stolen my dreams! And we see this all the time with standards as well. When women set their standards and say they only want to date tall men or they only want to date guys who are successful, it's just, yes, queen, don't settle for less. <laughs> but if a man dared to say that he just wants a woman who's slim, he's a misogynist, he's fat phobic, he's a misogynist, he needs to die. <laughs> oh, finally, bedtime. My favorite time of day. No, it's the only time you're asleep and not nagging me. <laughs> you said you're traditional. That's how I was raised, and I kind of like changed my ways, like, you know, moving to America. But I still think I'm pretty traditional. That's how I was taught. You said that you have been on dates with men while sleeping with another guy. But we weren't like in a full relationship. That's not traditional. It's not traditional to go out on a romantic date with a guy, expect him to pay for you, and then be sleeping with another guy. That's not traditional. I told you I changed my ways when I came to America. Oh, okay, so in China you were more traditional, traditional yeah. and now here, yet even though you've changed your ways, you still want a guy to pay for the first date, which is him adhering to his traditional gender roles. Yeah. Like, I just would like that. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. So earlier this year, I ended a relationship and cut off an engagement from a great, a great man. He was a good man. He loved God. He was a praying man. He loved and adored me. He was there for me. He was handsome. He was well-educated. He didn't have any kids. He checked all the boxes. But there was still something missing. And I just knew that I could not go through with this marriage. So let me get this straight. He was God-fearing, he was handsome and attractive, he adored her, he cared about her, he basically checked off all the boxes, and she still left him because she didn't feel something. And that's something that you're probably thinking is she wanted that dysfunction, that chaos, that mystery that the bad boy, the alpha male used to give her before she met that dude. And a lot of women, they break off good relationships, they break uh, up happy homes, they leave their husbands, all because they want to experience something different. A lot of women, believe it or not, they think that a man going to work, coming home and playing a video game, going to the gym or going just for a little drink and coming home, they think that dude is boring. So a lot of women, they need to mix it up. So they just break off good things that they have just because they want to feel something. Remember, women are slaves to their emotions. So if you don't give her any instability or drama, she's going to create that drama. And oftentimes, she'll just leave a good situation. How many bodies in college do you think you got? In college? Yeah. Only two. What's the chances I can make that three? Shit, what's your number? Yeah! I have 25 right now. 25 is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying 25 bodies while I'm 22 is crazy. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> oh. 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 oh my god! What happened?
What's one secret you've never told your ex? I got with someone else when we were talking because yeah. I was really drunk. What what y'all what you do with that someone else? I just hooked up with him. She belongs to the streets. Wasn't okay. wasn't bad. Have y'all ever hung out the next day? Mm, yes. Yeah, where you going? Where you going? Uh huh. Twelve hundred a week now. It's over. Yep. You wanted to take care of that girl, your little new girlfriend, and her kids. Now, yes, yes, yes. Cause you got me messed up. You got me messed up. I don't care. I don't care. You, don't care. you taking care of other people's kids. You get 12 I don't care. For yes, yes, yes. Because I need all that money. I need it all. I need every okay, penny I can house. get. Yep. You now you can see your kids once a week instead of seeing them all the time. So whenever you feel like it. Once a week to every day. Oh, well. Oh, at least I'm getting paid. At least I'm getting paid. Oh, you Did you want to be laid up with some other girl? Uh huh. I'm home every night. You don't talk to me. You go straight to the room. To you. you go to the room. You so you go go home. Home. I wasn't going to. I just needed some attention. Oh, so you go get in the hotel room to get some attention? Yeah. How long you been doing this for? What? I don't know. Man, how many f in the f? Bro, be real, man. Man, Stop just let her go, man. F all late. But why the f would you do that shit? I wasn't going to. Man, we got a dog. Like, get, what kind of example you set for your dog? A little bit of money. What, what if what if our daughter was doing this shit? You think that shit cool? Why would you do some shit like I'm that? Bring her up right now. Yeah, don't bring her up. Right 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 right. right. This reality, you gotta it's think about us. that. This is this is about you. Bang. And what's wrong with you? Why would you do you that know. shit? This is really sad because they have a daughter and it appears that they have a family. They've been together for some time. And he's wondering, why would you want to hook up with my best friend, my partner? Why would you want to do that to me? And she says, because of the lack of the attention. I told you guys, a lot of women, they're boring. They don't have much going on with their life. So if you just go to work, like I said in the previous clip, if you go to the gym, if you just play your Xbox, if you're not in the streets or, or into some drama or garbage, they're going to like, man, I'm going to need something else. And I'm telling you, if you go to a nine to five job, they're going to be like, I don't got nothing else to do. So he's not texting and calling me. So let me get on a dating app. Let me go talk to this guy. Let me talk to that guy. And they're going to mess up good situations all because they need the attention. Attention is a drug. It's like oxygen. It's like food for women. And if they don't get that 24 seven, depend on the female, what's going to happen is they're going to go search for it elsewhere. You can be a great guy. You can go to work. You can do everything you're supposed to do. But a lot of chicks, they just need that attention because they don't have much going on with their life. They're insecure about themselves and they need external uh, validation from other men, other people to feel better. All right, ladies, if you're a stay-at-home mom and your backup plan in case of divorce is your ex-husband is going to pay alimony and child support, listen up. When I filed for divorce for my ex-husband, he was making over $200,000 a year. I kicked him out in October of 2018. He paid me nothing. So wait a second. You left your husband. No, you didn't leave him. You told him to get the fuck out of the house that he paid for. For you and y'all children. I want a divorce. Get the fuck out. But you expected him to willfully just keep paying for your life. Because it sounds to me like you made a decision without having anything in place to make it a good decision. And now you're looking at your husband, who you told to get the fuck out, to keep paying for your life. A few moments later. I'm divorced. I thought I'd be happier. Except, the judge set the child support amount at $326 a month. $326 a month for two kids for child support is what he has to pay me. $326 a month because he's not working because he chooses not to. I was able to cross-examine him, which was fun, and I asked him how many hours a week he spends working or trying to sell houses because technically he still has a real estate license, so technically he's still a realtor. He said 15 hours a week approximately is how many hours he works per week. Grown man. Grown, able-bodied man with transportation and no child care to worry about says he works 15 hours a week, which I think is kind of a high estimate. I'd 
put it more like zero hours per week. So $326 a month for two kids. Fun, right? And this is after I was super gracious and let him keep his parenting time. The guardian ad litem recommended zero parenting time for dad. Mm -hmm.